Hello, this is the Saturday wrap for Saturday, the, thinks a lot, 19th of February 2021 time. It's about 20 to 11. Let's look back on what happened during the previous week and ends today. And we start off with, because I've remembered, oh, pale ale from Cloudwater. I know. It's brewed by Brewdog, and, well, you know, Brewdog. Oh. It is really rather nice and refreshing. Get it in Tesco's. Anyway, um, you might have noticed new cans. Yeah, I got carried away. They're not too bad, actually, um, if somewhat bigger. And so what better at insulating sound from coming from outside? Anyway, um, the word or the phrase of the week. Maybe not quite what you've expected from me. February. Uh, let's see, 2017 Storm Doris, 2020 Storm Dennis, blew my fence down. And yesterday, a Storm Eunice. Um, February, meteorologically speaking, is the last month of winter, and I always have the feeling that it wants to outshine all the others, so you can have any sort of weather in February. It can even be quite nice, although it does its best to hammer down with rain, looks out of the window, it is at the moment, or blow an absolute gale. And yesterday I was... Well, for a while I was in the red zone. Actually, uh, I was about a mile away from the red zone in the end, mostly amber. Um, so that's the word of the week, February. You are my least favorite month. Don't like you at all. Don't care either. Ah, right, okay. Uh, app of the week. Are you a Windows user? Do you want to know how much data you're using? Do you want to know how fast you are downloading things? Do you want to know even if you are downloading things, you're sitting there waiting for something to download and nothing's happening. Is it actually happening? DU meter. I've used it for 10 years or more. Um, I was on 7.3, I had a family license and I was using it on three machines. The family license is for five. And then it popped up and it said, you've got version 8 out now and 50% off an upgrade. It is well worth it. I uh, don't really know it does that much more, um, apart from bug fixes and such like, but um, I shall doubt. And I'm looking down at the moment and it's in my taskbar and it's tell me how much is going up and going down at the moment and very little. Which is good, because I don't want interruptions. The thing of the week, obviously, Big Jet TV. Yesterday, um, it was trending all over the place. You could get it on YouTube. Basically, some guy with some high-powered cameras and some live streaming kit. It must be gone through data at a fastidious rate. Watching planes coming in to land at Heathrow, or trying to come in to land at Heathrow. And quite a lot of them going round. Um, come on, my son, I think was said a couple of times. It was even on the front page of The Verge, which is an American IT website. And on the Daily Tech News Show as well. Um, I did put it on the Reddit group. But worth having a look if for no other reason than it is quite funny and he does get quite carried away. So that's Big Jet TV. Right, okay, so a look back on the week. Okay, so you're probably aware that this time last week um, I was in Kidderminster, um, driving up on the Saturday morning just as it got light. It felt like a football trip except I wasn't going to the football I was on my own and the motorways were not that busy which was really rather good for me um Kidderminster okay um full of old buildings 
and big car parks which you have to pay for and there's no spoons i think i mentioned that spoons is great really really good for being open early and you can have coffee you can have beer you can have breakfast and the penny black is closed and it's now pennies which opens at night and despite what i said last week there is a cost uh, right in the center it's right next to the premier inn anyway find of the day the Kidderminster Beer Emporium. Not far off the centre, about five minutes walk from the Swan, which is opposite the Town Hall. Absolutely excellent welcome, really friendly, great selection of beers, cask, keg and ciders and perries, lots of fridges, lots of eclectic beers and a big selection of Belgian stuff, which I'm all in favour of. Um, closed for a fortnight at the moment uh, due to the, one of the owners going into hospital. But it's one of the reasons why I think I will be going back to Kidderminster. Actually, on the Sunday, which it hammered down all day. Thank you, February. Um, I wandered up because Kidderminster's full of hills to the station. Um, There's a place called, I think it's the King and Castle three local pints of ale their point the sale system was down their wi-fi was down i thought they might be connected but i was keeping out of it uh, i was sent over to the cash point in the railway station the king and castle is um at the terminus of the seven valley railway so if you like your trains which i kind of do i'm sort of tempted to go back to there even for that and coming back out to there um because they did fix the point of sale system in the end. Surprisingly, their Wi-Fi is symmetrical. And they mentioned something about the antenna was pointing in the wrong direction due to the wind and rain. So um, I think they might just have a microwave link. Anyway, coming out of there, I spotted a chip shop that was open on a Sunday, which is always good. So I had a little closer look just to make sure it was. And next door, there was a real ale bar, which was also open i was tempted to go in but i was on my way elsewhere um, and that was the bear and wolf again not far from the swan and the town hall another really great welcome really fast wi-fi uh, big selection um friendly and um they even had their own cascade on which was solid Another reason to go back anyway. Um, and that was Kidderminster. Uh, I left on the Saturday morning. Um, the Premier Inn is an old um, carpet mill and has really, really slow lifts. So if you want to get anywhere fast, uh, use the stairs. Absolutely. Um, coming home. Okay, so I've been uninstalling and reinstalling OneDrive on the Mac. I think I've mentioned this. And... I don't know how it happened, but it had reset most of my spreadsheets back to the 19th of January. Luckily, it does have a history uh, option. So there was lots of cutting and pasting and whatever and going on and things like that. So from future, if I want to edit anything on the Mac and it's in Microsoft Office, I'm just going to use the web version because it's annoying. Everything's working fine on the Windows machines, which it should be because it's Windows native. Um, but you had enough warning, Microsoft, and you messed up. Really? <sighs> he says. Um, I don't want to say the week of storms, um, but midweek was deadly. And it wasn't as windy as it was supposed to be. And it was supposed to be torrential rain, but it was steady rain all day. And I think we got away quite easily with it. Anyway, when I got home, back to Monday, um, I couldn't find my Microsoft USB mouse um, for my Windows laptop. These are great mice, by the way. I think they were about 20 quid when I bought them. Um, battery lasts for donkey's years. Um, I love them. They work with anything. 
long story short, I hadn't forgotten it and left it in Kidderminster. I'd left it in work. Yeah, I'm getting to an age where I do that. I need to do tick lists. Really do. Anyway, um, ooh, yeah, talking about Dudley. Uh, when I got out of the car in the morning in work, I noticed my rear windscreen wiper. Well, it had torn a bit. I reckon it's probably two things. Old age because they don't get used that much, and frost and ice and such like, and it tears them. Long story short, Amazon, put it in the car, um, pull the thing up, 5.95, same day delivery, by 10 o'clock that night. Came at 7 o'clock. Um, it's a sort of fit, um, but that's not Amazon, and it was a genuine Bosch windscreen wiper, and they're quite good. Really pleased with that. Got it on. It works a treat. Let's hope Storm Eunice hasn't blown it off. I haven't seen my car since yesterday. Parked up the hill away from trees, which is the best thing to do, to be perfectly honest. Anyway, Thursday. Oh, all right. Um, mid morning ish. Yeah, most of South Wales and the Southwest turned red. Danger to life. Um, all the offices in one of the Cannon Taff ended up closed. Well, not all our sites ended up closed, but, you know. So it was working from home time. Um, tried to get on the HMRC website, um, set up a government gateway account. Apparently, I don't exist. Ping their tech support, um, who apparently don't work Fridays or Saturdays. Well, if they do, they haven't replied to me. It would be nice just to get an auto response, but no. Anyway, um, yesterday, yeah, it was blowy. Uh, my fence stayed up. A couple of pots that I put secure did end up blowing around the garden, um, but they're back where they should be. They're not damaged. Got off lightly. Mind you, 122 miles an hour on the Isle of Wight. I know it gets blowy there, but wow. Um, Romney Valley Line was closed this morning, uh, but is reopened now, and uh, all of Transport for Wales was shut down yesterday. Um, I think that was probably the safest move, and given um, given some of the trees that hit trains, um, yeah. Although, in the good old days, they would run whatever. I just think we're a lot more litigious nowadays, but there you go. Anyway, um, uh, so yeah, I'm working from home, big jet TV, both the seven bridges were closed. Twitter is the best thing in this sort of situation to keep an eye on things. Apparently the bridge is 80 mile an hour proof, but the approaches on the Welsh side, anything over 60 miles an hour and they close. We're not very consistent in Wales. Let's be perfectly honest. Right, um, so the week ahead. Uh, I think it's going to rain midweek onwards. I need to do some washing. I need to get on with things. I really need to be, no. I should have been in Cardiff today because there's no rugby on and Mad Dog's Brewery tap room was open, and but the trains weren't running early on. And I had a high-speed attack of, can't be bothered to go to Newport. I think that's old age. I could be wrong. Anyway, um, bye-bye and stuff. And I'll see you a week's time, maybe.